Hey guys, this is John from jssco.co.uk. Today we're going to talk about anchor text in GSA Search Engine. Okay, so GSA is this amazing SEO tool that basically is an automated link builder. It's really powerful and you can really um, create tens of thousands, well, hundreds of thousands of uh, links to any website you want to help its, uh, well, theoretically help its Google ranking. Um, and you can do it with all kinds of link types so you can make comment links, uh, wiki profile links, article directory links, and that kind of thing. Um, and also you can do with anchor text, and it's actually really, really customizable in what kind of anchor text you use. So um, and that's the kind of point that we're going to talk about today. So when it comes to anchor text, um, if you're using GSA, um, while it is a fantastic product, um, there is one risk with all kinds of uh, automated link building software. So, not singling out GSA in any, any way, shape, or form, just saying that with any kind of automated link building software, you can, uh, if, you, if you don't do the parameters right, uh, then you can severely set off the spam alerts in HQ. For example, if you set it off to do you know, a thousand comment links alone with the same anchor text, you're going to get slapped and you're going to lose rankings. Um, so while even if you're doing all the right things with regards to link types, so you're doing you know, put all the link types I've described in like a real kind of variety of link types, uh, if you've got the same anchor text, you're really still going to get slapped. Um, so that's kind of because in the last year or two, um, Google's search algorithm, search algorithm has been updated. Um, to mainly look at anchor text, so it's quite funny because with these algorithm updates, the only SEO sites, sorry, the only sites that were affected by the Google algorithm updates in their rankings were SEO sites. So people who'd had help from SEOs or SEOs themselves had built their websites, um, and built links using methods that worked before these updates. They lost rankings, and not penalised. And the key thing that Google's algorithms went after were the variety in the anchor text. So if you had in your anchor text profile basically like 100% of them the same keyword, uh, so say if you're a bicycle repair shop uh, and you've got a website and you want to rank for a you know, bicycle repair shop in London, which is obviously a really valuable term and you do all of the links you build, the anchor text, uh, best bicycle repair shop London, then you're going to see a real um, uh, penalty on your website. So you really need to vary your anchor text in a real natural way. What do I mean by natural way? Um, what I mean by natural anchor text profile is the kind of anchor text that you're going to see following normal human behavior. So with any kind of website, you're really not going to see people link to the website using a specific term only, like uh, best bicycle repair shop, uh, or bicycle repair shop London. It's not a natural thing to do. You're not going to get 10,000 people all putting in the same amount of text in the links that connect to the website. What you're going to see mainly are the URL and brand name. So for example, if we're talking about John Smith bicycle repair shop in London, then they're going to want to see uh, anchor text, which is reflective of that. So they want to see anchor text such as John Smith Bicycle Repair or something like that. Um, but mostly, what you want to really have um, in your anchor text profile, and this might seem quite a lot to some people, but this is what I personally have seen success with, is 60% generic phrases. So this is this is includes. Uh, click here, more information here, this website, and that, and that, and that sort of thing. So the kind of phrases that people naturally uh, put in when they're building a, um, a link to a website, because you're just not going to see people putting in you know, these unnatural like, um, keywords for architects. So you want really like a maximum of 10% of you. Text being the main keyword that you want to rank for, 
and related to long term phrases. So, for example, if you want to, if, you, if your main keyword that you want to rank for is uh, bicycle repair shop London, then you're also going to want to put in that 10% um, bicycle repair London, uh, best bicycle repair Pinlico, bicycle maintenance shop, and that sort of thing. So, you want to basically, put, you know, like, even in that 10%, you want to vary it. You really don't want more than 10% be in that because that's going to really risk the website being flagged uh, for spam. Okay, so let's go over to Jesus, I should remember I've got a um, new project window up. Okay, so let's put it in this website here. Let's just say we're looking at, like I said, John Smith Bicycle Repair Shop. And if there is actually a John Smith Bicycle Repair Shop out there, I sincerely apologize, it's a few cruises. So that's the website. Uh, keywords. Now these are the keywords that GSA uses to search for websites to post to. You. So that's what it is. I know we've been with this, but I'm just kind of just demonstrating. So, anchor text, um, say, bicycle. Okay, so if I basically had it like this and left it to run, build it looks like this, then that's going to be really bad for our site. It's going to make us lose rankings, uh, it's going to make us look quite swag to Google. Um, so, what we want to do is right here we want to put in some other terms that are related to that. So best advice. So it's a fell over, nothing nothing longer. Um best one to prepare London. This is going to be our 10%. This is going to be our 10%. These um, sort of um, related keyword architects. So we've done here generic architects, and GSA really is awesome at helping you customize it. So here you've got all these different options. Personally, I only use um, these two. So generic architects, sorry, three, um, and brand architects. So as we said, generic architects is percent. Uh, I'll just show you some of the ones it uses. So some of them are quite weird. Um, all the way to improve. I'm not sure about that one personally. Uh, check here, that's more like it. Um, uh, check the link. Um, click this. Um, go here. Here's probably the best one, it's probably the most realistic one. I think here should show up a bit more than that. Um, basically, loads of different kind of generic text that kind of people will type in in a natural text profile. As I said before, um, we want thirty percent of our text profile to be part URL, part brand name. So let's just split that up into two. So we've got fifty percent domain type text, fifty percent brand name text. Let's have a look. And it's really simple as that, to be honest. Um, just that one simple change can really make the difference between having your site getting flagged by Google as uh, um, potential spam and getting higher rankings. So I hope that's helped, guys. I um, hope uh, that's uh, helped with the GSA efforts. Um, thanks for watching my first ever video. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and um, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Right.